God of Thunder follows your orders and ventures out of the castle into the unexplored world in search of an adventure. Once again, there are some imposters traveling through Dummersville, building up their tents on the fields near the forest. Usually imposters and circus people are very welcome in this village. Everyone, even the king himself, enjoys watching the hustles and bustles. But something is different this time. These traveling people seem dark, morose, angry and threaten visitors not to come closer. What a strange group of people. I sense, there is something suspicious going on. And I will find out, what that is. Adventure 21. The Jester's Debacle. And again God of Thunder's presumptions are just right. As he sneaks upon the camp of those strangers, he finds them to be no imposters or circus people, but worshipper of the devil and unholy powers. Satanists. I will not tolerate these unholy doings here. The dark people recognize the night interrupting their ritual, and send out their most terrible fighter. Bloodguard God of Thunder, the prophet is now going to take on Shane the Satanist. God of Thunder starts the attack and begins to hurl his sword around himself in circular motions. He uses Blade Flurry, level 3. Four hits. 226,708 damage. Shane was trampled. That's it. God of Thunder has put a stop to those devil worshippers and their profane rites. I will burn all this unholy stuff to the ground. Hopefully that will scare the Satanists away forever. All of Dummersville and even the King are really glad the Dark Travelers have been displaced by God of Thunder. He sends him 715 gold pieces and 20 diamonds as an acknowledgement of his gratitude. Additionally, God of Thunder gains 780 experience points. Daily Adventure, The Jester's Debacle. Completed. God of Thunder follows your orders and ventures out of the castle into the vast world in search of an adventure. Dense fog has captured the lands for days now and with it comes one of the most feared plagues. The goblins. Ugly and evil little monsters, attracted by the thick blanket of gloom, distressing the village and its people. They steal food, damage houses and hunt the livestock. Many brave men have tried to stop the goblins from destroying the village, but failed. When attacked, all the little goblins gather, and form up to make one unbeatable, giant goblin. The king now counts on God of Thunder, one of his bravest, strongest and most skilled knights. Adventure 22. The Goblin Troubles. I shall not disappoint my king and all the tormented villagers. As God of Thunder raises his sword, the goblins in front of him merge into one giant goblin, with sharp claws and menacing green eyes. Bloodguard God of Thunder, the prophet, will next fight, Goliath the Giant Goblin. The fight is now starting. God of Thunder uses Blade Flurry, level 3, and moves towards Goliath with his rotating sword. Four hits. 227,676 damage. Goliath collapses. Awesome. God of Thunder has smashed the giant back into pieces. The ugly little creatures are screeching, as the last survivors run away back into the forest. God of Thunder is exhausted, his sword dripping with slimy green goblin blood. Once again, he has proven that there is no opponent big enough to strike him down. This should be a warning to all evil creatures out there. The villagers are overjoyed, the teasers are gone, and even the fog is lifted. As a mark of their recognition, they reward God of Thunder with 730 gold pieces and 35 diamonds. He also receives 816 experience points. Daily Adventure, The Goblin Troubles. Completed. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Until next time, may legends be born.